Have you ever wondered what the best scooter wheels on planet Earth are? Wheels that won't de-hub. Oh. Cores that just won't break. Look at that. Well, they don't exist. Scooter wheels are like a pair of socks. What? Yes. Hey. Hell yes. Can't wait to open these. Well, not really, but I'll say it for the sake of watch time. You get a brand new pair of socks. Oh, my socks. I'm gonna throw these socks in the bin where they belong. Are you? I can stand anywhere in these socks. I can stand on tiles. Ah. I can stand on my lawn. Hell, I can even stand in my pool. Before you know it, one of them starts to fray a little, then you notice the tiny little holes from time to time, while the other one's in perfectly good nick for some reason. These are brand new, man! <clears throat> All right. Finally, you gotta take them out the washer, and the Where's bastards my... swallow one hole. Where's my sock? Where's my sock? <laughs> no! Close doors, I'm a fool for your love What it do, Buddha Crew? It's your boy, Scooter Brad. Welcome to the first ever episode of World's Best. Today, we're going to be looking into the hollow core wheels. Quite literally, actually. <laughs> Now, despite popular belief, the first set of holocore wheels was in fact produced by Eagle Sport back in 2012. This was before Root Industries came out and overshadowed them with their version of the same wheel. Eagle's first ever range of holocores showcased signature wheels from riders such as Rory Coe, Matt McKean, Benjamin Frant, Cody Don, and so on and so forth, right before they developed standard colorways like this one you see here, the Hail Mary Sig, and more recently, Sewer Cats. <laughs> Had to roll up my sleeves because it's honestly so humid and hot out in this region. It's actually stifling hot. There's so many bugs and it's gross. Root Industries first ever holocore was released a couple of years after the first series from Eagle Sport. Root's first ever wheel was called the Revolver. It was released around 2012, followed by the Royce King signature wheel. But now they make most of their bank off holocores. The Root holocore was huge hugely flawed. Hundreds, no, thousands of these wheels dehubbed so fast, yet the kids' parents are still buying them. One bright whip. Another power slide. It's gone, it's gone. Root Industry Wheels, once again. We're calling Rock Underground, this is TV, how can I help you? Do you guys sell Root Industry Wheels? No, we don't. Why is that? Um, we don't carry any Root Industry Wheels because uh, we kept getting them back dehubbed. He did one bra flip. This should not have happened. But then, something so dramatic, so mind-boggling, so wrong. Root Industries made the decision to make the holocores lighter. <laughs> by drilling about a hundred holes in them. Nice. They should really say weaker. Oh my god. Look at my wheel. Look at that. Look at that. Holy rick. I've done for like two months. That's all snapped in half. <laughs> Not the gun. Oh, finally, a wheel that will never break. It's so strong and it looks so freaking awesome. 
Since the Holocore hype train started rolling, here's a list of companies that are all aboard! Envy, Fuzzin, Lucky, Unfair, Team Dogs, Lufa, Striker, Sacrifice, Drop-In Scooters. Drop-In Scooters? Really? Juicy, Drone, Infinity, Liberty, Crisp, Outset. Outset is making them now? What? Urbanite, North, Elite, AO, Revolution, and literally anyone else with access to Alibaba. Well, you know, it's probably the same reason why everyone produces Neochrome. It sells. <laughs> Now I'm not judging, really. I like holocores, hence why I have so many of them. Really, like, so many of them. Some of my favorites would have to be eagles, elites, and probably drones as well, not roots. Hence why I don't have any of those. Why you ask? Well, I rode a pair of root turbines for two weeks before they had to be retired. And well, that's enough evidence for me. To be fair, Every single scooter wheel is going to break. Without question, especially when you're a younger, more beginner rider. You guys should consider yourselves lucky. Hell, back in the day when I was 10 years old, we had plastic cores and they suck. Sh we put hot glue between the spokes to make them stronger. Because your fork will be touching the core, like around there. But just make sure you don't get any into your bearing hole. All right, so when it's like that and it won't come out when you're pressing, this is when you need to take another hot glue stick or something. They were shit. So what is the best hollow core wheel? Well, I mean, it is kind of hard to tell, but there is ways that you can go about researching which products are better for your writing style. Searching hollow core D hub on YouTube, you'll typically find about 10 pages of root wheel videos. However, you have to understand that due to the popularity of the wheel, it's obviously going to be skewed with the amount of videos that have been made about them because of how many of those wheels have actually been bought in comparison to a smaller rider like Unfair. Most people don't have Unfair Holocores, but they are actually really good. The Lucky Tanner Fox Signature Holocore Wheel is again stereotyped to being quite a bad wheel, but you need to take into account the fact that Tanner's target audience are quite young and quite sketchy beginner type riders. These are things you must consider when purchasing scooter parts. Beginner riders are much more prone to breaking parts. When I was a beginner rider, I broke so many scooter wheels, it's not funny. You really need to pick a product that's best for your personal riding style rather than the popularity of the product itself. Just because it's super popular, doesn't make it good. Personally, I've ridden so many different brands of scooter wheels over the years, and out of all the holocores I've ever ridden, the Drone Holocore XR2 wheels are the best ones I have ever ridden. The bearings are super fast, the urethane is super durable, as well as the holocore itself. If you guys are looking to pick up some holo core wheels, make sure you go to thevaultproscooters.com and use my personal code Buddha for 10% off anything on the website. This has been the world's best holo core pro scooter wheel presented by Scooter Brad. What part should I do next? Let me know down in the comment section below, whether it be bars, clamps, grip tape, hell, bearings. I don't mind. Let me know in the comments section below. Make sure you smash the like button on this video. If you ended up enjoying it today, subscribe if you have not already. Notification shout out goes to this person right here. Phew. Goodbye. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope this video helped you make a decision on what holocores to purchase in the near future. And uh, with that all being said, it's been your boy Scooter Brad and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Have an amazing day. Goodbye. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. Do I fall like this? Am I in the shot? Oh, my socks! Oh, fuck.
These are going in the bin where they belong. I'm gonna throw these socks in the bin where they belong. Oh. These socks are going in the bin where they belong. Hello? 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 Hello?